Do you read me? Come in, please. several new products that I'd like to show you. Uh, first, we have a new uh, QRP transceiver. It's a five watt output with a digital uh, VFO, DDS. And with these little modules here that you plug into the back of this radio, you can cover uh, 15 meters, 17 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters, and 80 meters. And uh, we are also planning to have a 10 meter module and a 160 meter module. Uh, it's got a uh, built in uh, keyer, and uh, you can run it off of batteries, uh, pin light cells, or double A cells on the inside of it. Uh, it's got a 100 uh, hertz LCD readout, and it's got eight memories uh, per band. And you can program CW messages in it. Um, the LCD is backlit, and it has an RIT that's got a 10 hertz resolution. <clears throat> but uh, 249 uh, for the transceiver, and extra modules are 29.95. We also have a whole series of uh, uh, products for the QRP. -er. That's an artificial ground that you can take a, a short piece of counterpoise wire and uh, just throw it on the ground and be able to tune that for a maximum of efficiency. We also have a QRP SWR watt meter, uh, and this has got BNC connectors to match the connectors on the radios and other QRP radios, but you can read uh, power uh, and SWR with the uh, QRP watt meter. And then we have also an antenna tuner that I don't have right here, but it's an uh, antenna tuner that covers uh, all the popular uh, bands, and it's, it's the same size as this, too. Now, this is a uh, QRP watt meter with a dummy load built into it. <clears throat> um, but that covers the uh, QRP, new QRP uh, line of products we have. <clears throat> um, we also have, uh, along the same line for portable operation, are some stainless steel telescope and clips. We have some that extends out to eight feet, uh, collapses down to about 20 inches, and we have one that extends out to 12 feet, and another one that extends out to 17 feet, which means it's a full quarter wave on 20 meters and all bands higher than uh, 20 meters, and that one whip, you can operate all bands from uh, two meters, 440, all the way down to 20 meters. If you want to operate 30 meters and uh, 40 meters, um, we have a set of loading coils. Uh, um, 
that you can uh, screw to the 3 8 by 24 uh, mount on the end of it and be able to tap it so you can resonate any band you want to up through 40 meters with an 8 foot whip. You can also use it mobile. Uh, the, these are very high Q air wound coils. Uh, it's the Q of uh, uh, nearly 300. <laughs> and I use one as a mobile uh, antenna on my car. And when I'm out on the road, I, I extend it all the way up to uh, eight feet. And I operate uh, in town on uh, 10 meters and I can talk to people all over the world on 10 meters. Now, uh, when <clears throat> um, I'm driving around in town and I need to pull into my garage, I will collapse my antenna down so I can drive into my garage and, but I can still resonate it to any band I like just by tapping on a car. So it's a very versatile system. Now, based on those two antennas, the telescope and quip, and these are stainless steel, so they're very strong. Um, we have a dipole. It's a V-shaped uh, dipole uh, that can be mounted on a tripod, and you can operate any band from 20 meters up through 2 meters and uh, a 220, um, a 440 megahertz. They're, it's a balanced dipole antenna. Now, for those who would like to make it even simpler, we have uh, a version of that, which is a vertical that you can mount on a tripod, and you can just lay a counterpoise wire on the ground and be able to operate with very low angle uh, DX operation. Um, <clears throat> we, uh, let's see. We have a new uh, uh, 2 meter, 440, and 220 uh, antenna tuner. And um, <clears throat> this is an um, interesting product here. When you're operating mobile, uh, um, you, your, your um, battery may be kind of weak. And when you crank the car up, the battery voltage can go down so low that all your computer chips get reset and this would prevent that there's a delay uh, that comes uh, that you can set on this where you crank your car up there's a delay and then then it will uh, uh, connect your transceiver to the battery system so it prevents that resetting of all your computer chips uh, it also has uh, gets rid of uh, um, just the uh, spikes that occurs when you start um, um, start your car up. Uh, there's also a um, a low voltage set on it that it just disconnects your transceiver if the voltage gets too low when uh, you're uh, operating without the engine on, and uh, it keeps you from running your battery down so low that you can't crank your car and go somewhere. So, but anyway, this is a product that gives you a lot of protection for $29.95. <clears throat> and for those who like to build uh, vertical antennas, phase some antennas, this is a phase meter. And it's accurate to uh, less than one degree. And uh, you can use this to uh, measure 90 degrees, quarter wavelength uh, transmission lines, half wavelength transmission line. Uh, it's got a digital readout on it. Uh, just attach a uh, signal source, tune it to the frequency you want, and you can read the phase difference between two points. Um, <clears throat> we have a um, new large uh, SWR uh, watt meter that has a cross needle on it, and um, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> it's got peak reading and average reading, and it covers 20 watts, 200 watts, and 2,000 watts. Um, and then we have a whole new series of uh, uh, automatic antenna tuners that's designed for remote operation. Um, these are weather uh, proof and you can take them and set them outside, put them right at the base of your antenna to get a lot more efficiency and that will allow you to uh, minimize the losses in your transmission line by providing your 50 ohm uh, output uh, from the tuner uh, so it matches your transmission line. Uh, we also, let me grab this over here. Hello? 
much. <laughs> um, we have a, a mobile uh, uh, antenna mount for a trailer hitch. You slide this into your trailer hitch and you can mount an HF antenna, a ham stick, or some other antenna. And if you have an antenna that's got an SO239 mount on it, you can put an SO239 mount on it and have well, actually two antennas at once. And <clears throat> there's, there's a place here that you can mount a shunt coil to match your antenna. <clears throat> and then this is another mount here. This is a uh, license plate mount. You take your license plate off of your car or your truck and you put this in place of it and mount your license plate back on it. And now you have a place that you can attach antennas without having to drill holes. <clears throat> um, we also have some new high current power supply. This is a 30 amp, very compact switching power supply. And then this is one for 28 amps with a cigarette lighter plug, uh, high current power supply. <clears throat> um, uh, I, I might mention that these automatic tuners, we have uh, uh, three, 200 and 300 watt versions, 600 watt version, and uh, 1500 watt version. And uh, these all have, like I said, uh, weatherproof cases with uh, <clears throat> uh, weather stripping that to keep the water out. And this one, the 1500-watt version, has a uh, stainless steel chassis on it. And it has some controls and displays on the inside that uh, allows you to do all the testing on it. <clears throat> um, that's a uh, sample of some of the uh, new products that we have. <clears throat>